Right. Well, you know, trigger is kind of a thing unto itself. Uh, mm -hmm. How to define exactly what it is and how exactly it's different from many other approaches and modalities is has always been a, kind of a problem because it's mm. it's not a, a it's not a protocol oriented uh, kind of work in the sense that you have a laundry list of moves, you have a formula that you move through like the uh, Rolfing 10 series are all pretty much the same. Uh, like uh, Feldenkrais uh, movement exercises are very precisely defined to do this gesture first, this gesture next, okay. and so on. This is more uh, kind of an open-ended sensory, uh, sensory and movement exploration of what the body will do, what it won't do, how to facilitate what it won't do, how to get things out of the way that it's compulsively doing. And it's, uh, it's a session of exploratory rocking, movement, compression, uh, traction, trying to excite uh, uh, nerve ends in response to movement in all possible scales, mm. small movements, large movements, rapid movements, slow movements. But it's trying to reach the precincts of the unconscious mind that are setting up our muscle patterns and are, is the storehouse of our go-to gestures and our go-to postures. And how do we get, my, my teacher, Dr. Milton Traeger, uh, said over and over and over through his teaching career, it's, it's all in the mind. If we don't reach the mind, then nothing of lasting significance is going to change. Well, and this is really the most exciting part, I think, about your work is that you're you're having an actual conversation between your hands and that unconscious mind of the person Absolutely. on the table. And that's Absolutely. really what makes this work so different than, you know, yes. just the traditional massage, oh, my shoulder hurts, I'll go through this routine, like you said. I think one of the things that I can point to that is, is different in my approach and my attitude and one I very much learned through Dr. Traeger and a lot of masters that I was so privileged to be around it at, in the Esling years. <clears throat> and that's that uh, I'm, I'm using touch not as a physical manipulation per se. I'm using the touch and those physical manipulations as a language. Touch is an extraordinary, extraordinarily rich language. It's our mm. primary sensory organ, our sensory channel. And touch conveys an enormous range of information. It conveys intention, it conveys quality, it conveys attention, and there is a there is a language of touch that we learn to speak together as me as a practitioner and my client as 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 a receiver and a participant. Mm 